Your Majesty, thanks very much for joining us. Welcome to Washington. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. You have a lot going on. Uh, but education, especially educating young girls in Jordan, in the Arab world, in the Muslim world, that's your passion right now. Uh, you, have, you have a huge challenge ahead of you. Absolutely. I think education, uh, global education, should be a priority for all of us. You know, when we think of the Millennium Development Goals, I think the one uh, key to unlocking a lot of the challenges that we face in the world is through education. And the sad fact of the matter is that we have 75 million children out of school today. Um, and, it, you know, it, it, it's actually an investment that we should really focus on, even in economic downturn, because um, it's an investment that doesn't devalue. It pays dividends many times over, and it's actually quite an inexpensive uh, investment. It takes us, it will cost us only $11 billion annually to put every child in school in the low-income countries. Now, when you think of the hundreds of billions of dollars that have been mobilized in order to help the banking system, $11 billion is something that we can afford. In the education system are these madrasas in the Arab and Muslim world. Madrasati actually the translation is my school. We've done a needs assessment of the uh, 500 worst uh, schools in, in Jordan and um, we looked at everything that they need and then we tried to partner with people in the private sector, in government, in NGOs, in the community, try to help fix those schools and to really revamp them. Three hundred kilometers south of Amman lies a small makeshift school, practically in the middle of nowhere in Jordan's vast desert wastelands of Al Jahr. This is sixty-year-old Muhammad Ad Damaniya's life's work. Because nomadic Bedouins are constantly on the move, wandering in the desert to search for food for their cattle, most are illiterate. So Muhammad has taken it upon himself to teach Bedouins of all ages, because no one else would. What I do for the generations of Bedouins is fighting illiteracy and killing the seeds of ignorance and backwardness. Civilization has only recently reached people in the desert, so we must hurry to catch up on their literacy.